Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to, well, this is the Hyperantic server, but we still are working on a project for Hypermind Vanilla. That's right. We're working towards our perimeter clearing. So we've done the storage and auto crafting, right? So we're good there. We've done the mob drops and I need to show you that. And we've done, well, we've got, we've got that solar panel up there, which is doing just fine. I was thinking about doing another power generator, but I think we're fine for now. And then we're going to work on clearing the perimeter. I think we're to at that point. But what I want to do is show you the mob drops real quick. So I showed you the Woot farm last time. And actually, it is running Enderman. And I don't need that anymore. So we've probably got way more in the system than was really needing. In fact, I haven't checked that since I logged back in. Yeah, so we filled up another set of drives right there. How many Ender Pearls do we have? Those probably won't be too bad. Yeah, so they're hitting the void upgrade, but Dimlet Parcels, 3.6 thousand. Okay. One thing I wanted to show you about the Dimlet Parcels is I did manage to get a Rarity 6 controller and I've gotten as a result, where is it? There should be a dragon dimlet. Do we have that? Dragon dimlet, yes. Mob dimlet, ender dragon. So when I killed the dragon one of those times, I did get the RF tool syringe filled up with it. So, so yeah, we're not doing too badly there. So lots more stuff than I had intended on putting in there. I just forgot to turn off the woot farm. If we go up here, I've got another farm. This is a 9x9 nine nine spawner. This is dark clear glass from Ender.io. And we've got diamond spikes under there. No problem. And then up top, I've got a couple of powered spawners. One with zombie pigmen, one with guardians. And then under there, you see that thing? That's an attractor obelisk. No, no, a relocator obelisk. And that is going to grab mobs from all over the spawnable area around us. So let me just check this real quick. I, I'm getting a text and this phone is not supposed to be going. Okay. Anyway, sorry about that. What we've got here are self-resetting levers. They are on for five minutes. So we can set that to go. And we see that the pigment spawner starts up. If we do the one below that, Guardian starts up and then that's going to turn off in five minutes just so that we don't cause any major lag issues for uh, fellow server members so this one right here i want to show you that one okay watch how that works you see that yeah so it's pulling mobs from all over the area just wherever they happen to spawn so in the caves all around and it's just grabbing them and dropping them in and so there we go so we can keep the area fairly clean and and yeah, it's, it's worked nicely. It's not the prettiest setup. It sometimes leaves mobs stuck in the glass. So if I go away for a while, we'll see a bunch of mobs in there. But I've got plenty of stuff in the system, so we don't really need to have that going for today. So what are we going to do now? Well, I think that's about all that I have done well i did start up the dimlet whole thing i've gone to a few dimlet or dimensions found a good one that had a, a decent setup in it so i was able to walk through some of those dimlet uh what are they the buildings you know that rf tools puts in and i'm slowly working towards one particular item here and that is let's see if i can pull it up quartz block dimlet not the ore but the block of quartz that's because our our material of choice for the the torus that we're going to build is going to be quartz quartz on the bottom glass on top very expensive materials in survival but we can get them pretty quickly here in modded no problem but before we do any of that what we need to do is go over to the witch hut no no no, no. we need something else real quick i almost forgot we're going to need to take you and so let's grab that okay that's that one right there and then we're going to take 
this one over here. Okay. Grab that. And then we'll go to the witch hut because that's our material for bounding our perimeter. So let's just do this that once. There we go. No problem waiting for the server that time. Excellent. I've already got the chest set up with what we need. We're going to need a builder block. We need a shape card. Uh, no shape card. No, we actually don't need that right now. We need the fortune, the clearing fortune, fortune quarry. And we'll do the dimensional transceiver and then a flux point. Okay. I think we're good. Maybe we'll come back to the shape card. No, we won't come back to the shape card quarry. But what we need to do is set out our perimeter boundaries. And so what I've done is I've marked it's roughly a 300 by 300 area. And we're going to make sure we go on the chunks. So there's a little bit of, of a thing here. Yes. Yeah. So what we're going to do is I hope that, um, that I've got this set up correctly. Let's do builder block. And then we need, uh, we could just do this all through the dimensional transceiver. I think that's going to get power. Soap means receive soap items send no problem there. And then what we need to do is get our quarry card and that is right click on there. Excellent. So the first corner, I'm not sure about, we got to see where we're at. So let's take a look at our F3 screen looking at four. I don't know if that's the one we want. I do know that we want this corner. Uh, let's bring up the F3G screen. We want, hmm, I want the bounding box just outside. Do I have a block on me? No, I do not. Silly, silly soap, not bringing some blocks. Okay. I want the corner right there. Okay. And then we go over this way. We might have to clear out a little bit more. And let's go all the way over to this other one. Let's get rid of F3G just for now. And we should be able to drop down. I uh, marked it. Where did I mark it? Right here. So let's go down to the very bottom here. And we should be able to mark. Uh, let's take a look. F3G. That is at four also. Uh, and no, F3G. Chunk borders. I want it on that one. Okay. So the new settings are copied to the shape card. So we can go put this in the builder block and we should be able to quarry out this whole thing. That line right there. And nighttime is upon us. Let's get rid of the F3G. I can see how that would be rather annoying. But let's come over here to the builder. And I'm just going to, I'm bringing you along for this part because we're going to do this four times and I'm not going to bring you along for all of it. Instead, we'll just do this one. There we go. And we should be able to put it in. And you know what else I forgot? I forgot a lever. Let's let's skip the nighttime and then we'll take care of the lever part. And this thing's not showing up any sort of, uh, what's the word? Any sort of um, power or anything in my dimensional transceiver. So that's a bit problematic. I want to make sure I clear out something that's going to be useful to the clearing process. So we'll do that. Okay. And then I need a little bit of cobble. You have any cobble over here? Should be some. Oh, oh, we're getting some lag. Let's go down into here. 
And we'll just see if we can grab a piece of cobble. Excellent. So I guess that's something that you tend to forget when dealing with the builder block. I do. I can't tell you how many times I've forgotten just that one piece. Let's see what that does. Is it working? I don't see any evidence of it working. Let's see what it's telling me over here. So, oh, it's not sending. Well, we should have everything loaded. Yeah, so that's going to be a problem if that's not loaded. We should be getting power. Oh, I see. Not receive. We need to do this receive. And yeah. Yeah, so for some reason, I don't know why, but it, it seems that it does just fine once I've got the power set up correctly. Um, and if I'm just trying to use it to move items around, it locks up. So this thing should be going. If we went over to this side over here, we should see it. We're going to get a little bit of frame rate lag because I've got my ore processor turned on. I probably should have turned that off. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, we're doing, we're doing just fine there. I'll have to come back through and clear out this section. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to let that run all the way through. And then, well, and then I guess it's time to build the walls. But yeah, that's going to take a little bit of time to run through. All right. And uh, so I'll bring you back once well once that's done and i'm getting ready to work on the walls but in the meantime i will also take care of all of the other trenches all the way around so uh, that's just rinse and repeat get the coordinates and go from there so i will be back once we got some more progress and we're back ladies and gentlemen i decided we're not going to go all around and do this quite yet instead i'm going to bring you back and I'll show you how I'm putting this wall in, and then I can take care of all of the rest of it all the way around off camera. And then we can get into actually clearing the whole thing out a little bit later. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the dimensional transceiver to right beside here, and we're not gonna be sending items. We're gonna get rid of that. We're still gonna be pulling the power out of it. And then we're gonna take this basic drawer and put it right there. And we've got no card in here. Instead, what we're going to do is make a shape card. Let's put a solid box in there. Okay. And then over here, well, once again, what we need to do, shift right click. And then I need a little placeholder block. Uh, you know what? How about the placeholder block that we're actually going to be using? Let's do that right here. Can we? Okay, good. And then we'll take our shape card, go like so. And then we'll go to the other side real quick. And we've selected that corner. And now what we do is we go back to the machine and we'll place the card in and we should. Yep, so are we losing items in here? Yes, we are, that's good. Not that we're using them, we're placing them. This is a whole lot quicker than doing this in vanilla. And we'll see if this thing comes through. Yep, there we go. Just placing the blocks. One chunk at a time. Excellent. All right, so I'm gonna be doing that all the way around. We're gonna have a wall of stone brick all the way around. And, uh, and yeah, so I've already, I've also done that trench right there on this side so we're going to carry that all the way around and i'll bring you back once we have that complete all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back and we can take a look here at journey map and can you see it you can't really see it there can you see it here yes because journey map shows those chunk lines on it so you can see that's a little bit of a gray line right there 
So that shows, hey, we're on a chunk border. I think that's how that goes. I hope that's how it goes. I hope I got the right measurements. Maybe not. Maybe I didn't. So we're going to the correct side here. Let's come over this way and just make sure that I got these measured correctly. If not, then I'll just have to go back and redo it. It's a little bit easier in modded. Yeah, 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 that's fine. So we want the border just outside the chunk for this. All right, good, good, good. Now, next order of business is we need to start clearing out the middle. That's gonna be a little bit tedious. Let me just kind of show you what we're gonna do. I've got a clearing silk touch quarry. So we'll come over here, right click on that. And then we need to get one of our endpoints. I'm going to try, how about one of these up here in the mountain? And we're getting some framiness and some, some block lag a little bit. Let's bring back up the chunk border. Okay. How about, how about maybe, maybe right. I know this is not. Not the most compelling, I would say. Maybe right there. Okay, that's good. And then get rid of the chunk borders again. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. And we want to make sure that we don't get the witch hut quite yet. I'm going to try and just go to... How about we'll dig down right here, okay? And we'll see what we, what we end up getting into. And we should have, I want to make sure I don't run into water. That's the main thing I'm worried about there. Let's get rid of the chunk borders there. And then all the way down. And it shouldn't be a problem since I've got all of that stuff from the nanobot beacon going. Fire resist and yeah, all sorts of charms on the, on my armor too. So we shouldn't have any problems, even if we run into a bunch of mobs. All the way down. And that'll give us our other corner. Good. Do that. And we will go back up here, put it into the machine. And that should take care of that whole area, including the stuff that's above it. Let's take a look and see what we're going to avoid. We're going to get rid of all of this stuff. Maybe, yeah, including the sand and or dictionary. It. Yeah, we're going to get rid of all of it because we don't need any of it. So I'm going to just chuck this back into here and then we'll prepare for the lag fest. We should have plenty of power coming in. Good. All right. So that's now working. You can feel it. Can you feel the frames tonight? Yes. Okay. Let's come over here and see what's happening. It should be pulling out even the liquid. Where is it going to start though? That's what I want to know. Yeah. So... It's trying something. Maybe. Maybe over here. Maybe it can't send items. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know what, what direction it's starting from. But I can certainly feel some framiness. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. Okay, well, let's go take a look at our... Oh, no, it's starting right there. Got it. Okay. Well, there goes that poor sheep. And maybe we'll come over here and get rid of some of the lag that's happening. That has to do with all of that water. Water updates, pretty bad for the server. So anyway, that's kind of what we're going to be doing. It's a lot of tedious work and it's very laggy, very framey, and it's probably not fun to watch. So I'm going to go off camera and clean up the rest of it. And I will see you in just a little bit. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm over here at the base because I needed to bring you in for a few changes that we've had here at the base since the last time we were together. So first things first, I have pulled off the additional sign for our last to-do item here because, well, the perimeter is clear. I'll take you over there in just a moment. But we needed to gather some materials for that particular build, and it meant that I needed a little bit more power. So I added another Tier 4 Solar Array from Environmental Tech. And let me show you why. So I've gotten into using the RF Tools Dimension Builder. And one of the ones that I built, well, I'll show you. 
Let's take a look here. Soap Quartz 3. It requires a maintenance cost of 45,000 R of a tick. So, yeah, we've essentially got one tier four solar array dedicated to powering that dimension. And given that we've got 100,000 total, I think max, even if we were to go into nighttime, we're filling that energy ball up pretty well. I think we're somewhere, well, I, I can't remember, something like 600 billion RF. Who knows? Yeah, 600 billion RF, we're 28% full and climbing, so not doing too badly at all. So I did have to do that, but it's a, it's a quartz block, it's a flat world, and yeah, anyway, it worked out quite nicely. We filled up an entire storage drawer full of uh, emerald upgrades and everything. I think that's it that was around here, though. So let's head over to the perimeter so you can kind of see what's going on. And you can even see the Taurus come into view. I'll show you that card in just a moment. But there's the finished perimeter all the way around. We've even got the walls in place that uh, I may eventually do on vanilla. We'll see. It's a lot of material. And I did not keep all that stone. So who knows if we get around to that. But let's come in here. I've got a shape card set. Let me just show you the dimensions right there. We've got a 17 internal diameter. We got a 63 diameter circle around the center of the witch hut here. And I've, oh, okay, there it is. And I've pushed it down a little bit so it's below the farm. We'll have the farm kind of running up here. And I'll play around with some designs. We'll have the drop shoot coming right through the center. And then we'll have another, another design here for the collection area. And then I've got to work out legs for this thing and have the item elevators going through it anyway there's a lot of work to be done for the planning and i'm not going to bring you along for it you know why i want it to be a surprise for you so we're going to be planning that off camera here on hyper antics and then you'll have to wait and see it show up in vanilla now with 1.12 just around the corner it does mean that we'll probably be able to see replay mod come back as forge updates so who knows who knows we'll see hopefully it does hopefully there aren't any snapshots anytime soon that we switch to by the time I get to that point, but we've got a lot of materials collection ahead of us. I'm probably going to be switching material even there on, on the vanilla server. See, this is nice and all quartz, very nice block, but we would need somewhere on the order of 50 stacks of it, 50 stacks of blocks, and then 50 stacks of glass. The glass, not so hard. We could go you know, tear apart a desert and be fine. We got the super smelter at spawn. So no problem there at all. It's just the quartz, all that quartz. It'd take a long time. We'll probably end up using white concrete. It's got a much cleaner texture anyway. So who knows? We'll see. We'll see. You'll just have to wait to watch how vanilla ends up, but I'm not going to bring you along for any of the planning process here in Hypermine or Hyper Antics. You'll just have to wait. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this particular mini series here on the Hyper Antics server. And, uh, and yeah, if I come up with any further content ideas for this server, I'll certainly bring you back. But it'll probably be just in the Hyper Antics series on that playlist. And uh, if you've got any ideas for content I should explore, any mods you want me to try out, let me know. I'd love to take your suggestions into consideration. So. Uh, maybe we'll see something like that. But for now, I think we're pretty much done with this pack. And, uh, well, not done with producing content for this pack. I've still got work to do here, but I'm not going to bring you along for that. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the mini series, and hopefully you have enjoyed this little jaunt here into modded and are looking forward to the changes that are coming on vanilla as a result of the planning here. I'm looking forward to it, and I can't wait to show you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you, well back in vanilla. Bye-bye.